And as I got older, yeah, of course it became very, very important, especially after I became a Muslim. Yeah. Self-development is what we're about. You know, self-development is to, to be a Muslim. You're not in competition yeah. with somebody else. You're in competition with yourself. Right. And we have the companions, right. Who, um, regretted, for example, taking on too much in their youth, like fasting, like too much ex extra fastness, and then they couldn't keep it up in their old age. And so they regretted it. They always wanted to end strong, right. And be constantly trending upwards. They never wanted to backslide. And so these sorts of things, you know, were very important to the companions and they're very important to us. Everybody has to have a, a, a reckoning with themselves to put themselves on a program just to be better next year than you are this year and better, you know, the year after that, than you were that year and these sorts of things. But no, it wasn't, mm -hmm. it wasn't something that I was kind of had from the start. I, I, a light bulb had to go on. And I think that the interesting thing with Rav Asfahani is that he spends so much time trying to turn on the light bulb, right? He, trying to motivate. Why, why should you be doing this? Why should you develop yourself? Because people need to be, to have the motivation and the inspiration. If not, why would you do it? You're just going to develop yourself. What just to develop yourself? No, there's Jannah, there's paradise, there's, there's virtue, there's vice, there's sin and there's righteousness. There's, there's this whole epic struggle going on between good and evil, right? Whatever sort of is the motivator for you. If, uh, you know, you can be a hero, you can be the person who liberates al aqsa or you could be the person who, you know, you could be the next Salah Adin. It's possible, right? So some people, they need to see the motivation. It's like, wow, that's why I need to wake up better. Not just because Allah told you so, even though that's true. Yes, Allah told you so. And yes, it should be enough that Allah just told you so that you should do it. But a lot of people, regretfully, they're not there yet. So these other layers of motivation, they're not mutually exclusive. You stack them, right? That's like, yes, well, I also want to improve the Ummah. I also want to be a good role model for my younger brothers and sisters. I also want to, um, you know, get the blessings in this dunya and, and the next life, right? Once you've got the motivation, then it's like, ah, oh, I see. Okay. I have to, I have to be better. I have to be better. I have to be better. Yeah. And, um, you use the phrase stack the motivation because that's how I think about, I had a video on like, um, how it, correcting your motivation for going to the gym or like building your physique. Um, and a point in that was how at different times you're going to need to be able to pick out different motivators. Um, but have a stack of righteous motivating factors and they can be different. They can be, I want to take care of my body for the sake of Allah, because it's a trust. It can be, I want to be in a good physical shape for my spouse. So you, you're, you're tapping into ordinarily what would be like a base level haram desire. Let's say if it was to yeah. impress the opposite gender, yes. but you're tapping into the same kind of neurology, but yeah. applying it in a halal sense, and then you're getting rewarded for it as well. Yes. And, um. That's yeah. very along with, yeah, that's, I mean, Arawa Suhani, he talks so much about that in the book, right? Like he talks about these sorts of natural urges that are put in us. And then our ethical moment or our moral dilemma is how to use them and develop them, right? They're the guy who just goes to the gym to look at women, <laughs> right? He's not even there to lift weights. He goes there to look at the women. Okay. That's, uh, <laughs> that's an unethical, that's a, a squandering the natural sort of motivation and ability that Allah gave you, right? Or to go there just to get buff so that women look at him. Okay. That's also mm -hmm. problematic. But then yes, if you're able to discipline it and focus it and apply it in the proper channel, it becomes at least permissible. And like you said, even better than that, it becomes worship. And I still need to, I'm going to buy the book, inshallah. Um, I've gone through, I think I've got three of your videos left out of that playlist. Inshallah. Um, for the people watching, you should definitely check those out because they're two to three minutes, some of them slightly longer, but people you'll definitely, if you're watching this channel and you're into this kind of thing, you'll definitely benefit from that playlist as well.